During my time as ambassador, I uncovered evidence that one of the great houses has been corrupted by a foreign influence and is plotting against the Empire. I was thrown into Urapenthe as punishment for digging too close to the truth. The fugitive Drake suggested that we travel to the Vor system. We hope to find evidence that will prove there is an internal threat to the Empire. All right. Interesting that the voices didn't correspond with the text, but it's close enough. So yeah, we'll accept that. All right, so Vor 2, I'm guessing, is where the system is, because we're not getting anything off the... There we go, begin, friend or foe. Captain, we've entered the Vor system. There's a star base in orbit dead ahead. Huh, it's one of ours. But the records listed as a research facility operated by Eridian scientists. Eridian scientists? That's unusual. The Eridians are not known for their scientific prowess, but the research station is listed as a protected asset. According to your ship's computer, the Eridians have a trade agreement with a human scientist named Amar Singh. He is working with someone in the Empire on a genetic research project. It's unclear what Drake expected us to find here. We will investigate. Approach the station. Find brightly. I love the approach to it. Uh, investigation that's going to happen. <laughs> Just speed things up by going to full impulse. Full impulse gives more power but reduces any power available to weapons or shields. Contact the station. This is Research Facility Logner Beta 3. I am Plardos Yarden, commander of the station. With whom am I speaking? I am Lieutenant Dark of the IKS Pekok. Pankok. Um, we weren't informed there would be visitors today. How may we serve the Empire? We are here to inspect the station. Commander Plardos, you will provide this ship's computer access to all recent station communication logs. You will also transmit a manifest of shipments and supply delivery receipts for the last month. We expect full cooperation, Palco. Pardos. Uh, um, well, this is unexpected. You do realize that we have an agreement with your government and Dr. Singh. Our research is highly classified. You do have some sort of official order granting permission to view these records? Of course, we'll send it right over. This is sick. Why are you attacking us? Please, we are not your enemy. Send over the information re we requested. You're completely mad. This is a top security installation. You don't have authorization to access our records. We're filing a formal complaint. You're hiding something. Of course we're hiding something. We're conducting classified research. That's why you are not authorized to access station records. You do understand the concept of top secret, don't you? You dare to insult my authority? This is preposterous. We refuse to hand over top secret information without proper authorization. We will defend ourselves, if necessary. You stink of guilt. They've powered up defensive cannons and launched small craft. Just 
distress signal. A ship is responding. Captain, Romulan Warbird on sensors. Right, a heavy warbird. Captain, the Romulans are hailing us. We received a distress call from this station. We are here to provide assistance. Your assistance is no longer needed. Station Commander Plardos sounded distressed. He mentioned a disagreement with a Klingon vessel. It would be dishonorable of us not to investigate. This is an internal matter. We appreciate the delicate nature of the situation. Would you mind if we spoke with the station? Perhaps we could resolve any misunderstanding. Be our guest, Telpados, we wait. I find this very suspicious. Why would Romulans respond to a distress call here? Monitor their communications. The Romulans hailed the station on an open frequency, and then immediately switched to an encrypted channel. Hmm. The Romulan ship hasn't raised shields. What are they up to? Alert me if you notice anything else. I don't need to remind you that we're in Klingon territory. The fact that these Romulans are here at all could be the clue we need. Drake said we'd find evidence, not clues. Captain, the station has transported several crates of goods to the Romulans. There is our evidence. Hail the Romulans. Commander Plados has explained the situation. It sounds as if there's been a miscommunication. Enough. Transfer the contraband you just received to us now. The foolish bravado of the Klingon Empire. Attacking your own station and then accusing us of wrongdoing. I should have expected something like this. Very well. We'll communicate in terms you can understand. Boring conversation anyway. Battle stations. <laughs> Our shields down that did the Romulan Republic is thankful for your assistance we had tracked the tall Shiar to this system but we would have been outmatched without your aid you fought well for our Romulan the Romulan Republic faces many challenges but conflict with the Klingon Empire should not be one of them as a gesture of good faith I'll share with you information that you might find to be of value. I'm listening. We believe Tall Shi'ar agents are collaborating with operatives in the Klingon Empire to steal weaponry and technology. We have uncovered large supplies of Klingon weapons on the planet Nimbus III that we believe are being stockpiled there by agents of the Empress. The stolen goods are being transferred through several facilities in the local sector, including this science station. Do you have proof of this? The shipping manifests on the supply crates and the weapons themselves. By tracking the flow of goods, we've learned that there are agents in the Klingon Empire transferring stolen supplies to the Tal Shiar. Those supplies are being stockpiled on Nimbus 3. If you will help track down the source of those weapons, we will share our data with you. Send us the data, but we make no promises. Transferring the data now 
We expect the Klingon Empire to track down the source of these stolen goods and punish those responsible before more weapons fall into the wrong hands. If we discover any further information, we will notify the Empire's ambassador on Mol Rihan. Get me that po Pardos. Please listen to me. We were only following protocol. We must ensure that our research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Then why are you trading in stolen goods? We, we didn't know the shipments we were transferring were stolen. I, I was told that the crates were medical supplies needed on the war front. We didn't ask questions. Please, show mercy. We were only doing what we were ordered to do. Then do as you're told and send me the data I want. Due to present circumstances, we will forego normal security authorization and provide the files you have requested. We live to serve the Empire. Transfer the files before I lose my patience. We've received the data that Kemtar requested, Captain. It will take some time to analyze these files and track the source of the shipments. In the meantime, we are prepared to leave the system on your command. Okay, depart system. No doubt we'll wind up talking to the prison warden again. Your officers have analyzed the shipping logs from the research facility. Their findings confirm what the Romulan Republic officer told us. Someone has been routing technology and weapons to the Tal Shiar. And they are going to great lengths to cover their tracks. Do you believe a great house is involved? An operation of this magnitude would require the resources of one of the houses. But the shipments are being routed in such a way to conceal their point of origin. Our evidence is circumstantial. <sighs> it was my eagerness to point fingers without proof that landed me in Urapenthe in the first place. We must exercise patience and wait for our prey to reveal themselves. Drake mentioned your father. My father is Ambassador Worf. He has many friends and many enemies. I tried to convince him that one of the houses was moving in the shadows against us. He either didn't believe me or didn't care. Either way, he made his decision when he refused to act after I was sent to Urapinthe. His pride is a weakness our enemy will try to exploit. Perhaps I can persuade him to listen. You can try, but we must be prepared if he doesn't. We should at least warn him of the danger, even if he refuses to see the knife at his throat. Don't worry, we will be there before they strike. Go and meet with Wolf on Kronos. Okay, so Kronos thankfully isn't that far away either. There's Kronos. Plot a course for Kronos. We'll use the automated system as opposed to trying to do it ourselves. Sorry, what's this noise? Ooh, we have somebody walking on the surface of the sun, which sounds very much like somebody's trying. Ooh, no, it's we seem to have been replaced with a, um, a human. That's definitely somebody's been messing here. Right. Do we have any kits? Yeah, we. That's a. Get rid of. That's a. Not much use to us. Let's just check the encrypted receiver. I don't suppose there's anything there for us. Nope. Ah, there's something that is of use to us. I thought we'd put... Oh, we used it, didn't we? That's why that's not there. Um, right, while we're at it, let's just customise the tray to something that's closer to what I'm used to using. Uh, cloak there. Let me 
emergency weapons. Pop there for the moment. Reroot, reroot, attack, combat. Weapon there, tractor beam. That's closer to what I'm more familiar using, so we'll stick with that for the moment. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm sure there's a better way of arranging them uh, because most of those have got keyboard shortcuts so that they can be used. That's key one, key two, that's control one, that's alt one, and so on. And that's alt zero. So by arranging them, it's possible to. Uh, to, to use keyboard shortcuts which potentially in the combat situation are is, is quicker but I'm not that clever right so let's approach the planet because we are supposed to be going to the first city put in full impulse beam to first city. We notice there we actually had an off option to beam to the academy. But we're not going there just yet. Ah yeah of course I'm still armed with the um, let's put the sidearm in place. off to meet with Worf and Worf is over here you can see the yellow let's go back the yellow arrow on the uh, map on the top left uh, top right so we'll go to Worf what a surprise we've got people here as well perhaps Probably. first tell me who you are I am Lieutenant Drag of the IKS Pangor. Greetings. How may I assist you? We need to speak privately. That is an odd request. We stand in the courtyard of the Great Hall, and honor has no need of secrecy. If you cannot speak your mind in this place, then I have no desire to hear what you have to say. Very well, I am here with your son, Kemta. That is not my son's name. If Kemtar wishes to talk, tell him to come and speak to me. I will not communicate through intermediaries. He said you are both in great danger. He is the only one in danger. Unless you have been foolish enough to listen to his tales. But you have already made that mistake. If you have spoken to him, then you have been to Ruripenthe. Great house is plotting your death. I am Gintok to the house of Martok. Lady Sorella has declared vengeance on the house of Jimpok. It would not surprise me if all the great houses wish me dead. Tell my son that I am capable of defending myself. The Romulans are involved. Romulans? That does not make sense. Jim Pock's position towards the Federation and the Tal Shiar is very clear. And in this, he has my house's full support. It would be foolish for any house to make such a connection. However, I would not be surprised to hear you mention the house of Duras. We do not know if Duras is involved. And that is exactly the sort of accusation that landed my son in a penal colony. Tell Kemtar that unless he has proof, he should stay silent. If he is a fugitive from Ruripenthe, he will only make his situation worse. I do not want to know any more about what you two are plotting. I'll tell him. Has Worf agreed to speak to us? You said your name is not Kemtar. What name I use is not important. Did you tell him what we've learned? He did not seem concerned. Did you tell him the Romulans are involved? 
He mentioned House Duras. Given their history, I've considered the possibility that the House of Duras might be involved. Is he at least willing to review our evidence? He wants nothing to do with our investigation. Yacha! He is a stubborn old man and he is going to get himself killed! We should at least warn House Martok. Agreed. If the Jin talk to House Martok will not listen, we will take our concerns to the house itself. Martok's son Drex is off world. I will contact Lady Sorella and arrange a meeting. These events are very disturbing. They paint a picture of a large conspiracy against prominent houses of the Empire. I will work with my contacts to see what else I can learn. And I will notify you when I have enough leads to further our investigation. Right, so that's the end of that. Congratulations. We're very quickly going to wind up getting the next part of the story.